Hey guys, welcome back to another video today, and Jailbreak just got a brand new update, and I'm starting to love this, guys. Look at the map. It is really clean. I'm liking how this map looks, new skybox, and the road. It gives me kind of like a 2020 feel when the map will just look like this. Feeling a bit nostalgic here, but yeah, before we jump right into the video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. Anyway, let's go ahead and get right into it. So we got February 2nd, Apocalyptic, Season 20, we got Apocalypse Season and we got new mountain scenery and road and new XRK sports car plus more. So when we first spawn into the game, you can look behind the prison and you can already see the jailbreak letters on the mountain. Of course, this is probably a reference to Hollywood. And we can also see the new mountain roads. And up there, there is a building on the mountain. It also looks like they kept the tunnel. I was a bit worried if they were going to remove the tunnel, but looks like that stayed in. So let's go ahead and check that out first because that's where the new car is. And yes, the new car is a JDM. It is a Nissan GTR and it is right-hand drive. So this one is left-hand drive, which doesn't really make that much sense because it should be right hand drive because they're trying to make it JDM but anyway we're not going to be talking about that so let's go ahead and head up there so we're going to go through this tunnel I don't believe anything has really changed here yet there's probably nothing that changed but there is a mountain road that leads up to the mountain I guess because you know it's a mountain road so you got to go over to the right over here and everything just connects if you look at the mini map look how smooth the road is here like it just all connects through it's nice so if you just go over to your right you can start drifting I, I think this road is just for you know drifting stuff it's supposed to imitate probably you know like the japanese mountain roads so we're gonna go up there i'm gonna try my best to drift but over there there is a surprise i did go up here to check it out to make sure the car was here before i made my video but you guys are gonna like this anyway let me go ahead and do my drift there we go oh a bit too much all right but there is also a tunnel here which is nice so well, yeah we're gonna oh we're gonna make a turn here all right i see how it is it's not a straight tunnel so oh there's a car okay there we go oh there is a new vehicle you guys already saw it but it doesn't spawn right there it spawns at the very very top okay i'm not doing good with my drifting at all but anyway we're gonna reach the top you can see there is a building right there and you know, hold on i'm gonna wait for, for it because there's a surprise guys there is a surprise and i'm pretty happy about this all right guys I, i'm pretty happy so when we make this turn we just see the building there's a ramp which can go off but there is a jetpack yes the jetpack now spawns here which is great because it's very very close by the prison i mean you could probably just rock a few up here if you wanted to or get the army helicopter it's very very convenient yet now so I feel the jetpack is much easier to get and I, I like it because I'm not going all the way to the tallest building in Crater City for a jetpack that's just too much so I'm liking this a lot however this building isn't anything to do with it like there you can't go inside it reminds me kind of what like the museum looked like before it was a museum so anyway here is the new vehicle it's a Nissan GTR but they're calling it a XRK is kind of difficult to say the name so I'm just gonna call it a GTR but yeah it's right hand drive very nice we can take a closer look interior looks sick the back looks sick all right let's go and buy it two hundred and ninety nine thousand dollars I'm not even sure how good this is but we're gonna go ahead and buy it there we go we just bought it rip my money I am uh, I still 42 million so that's not that bad but yeah we're gonna go ahead and just take it out for a spin by you know drifting down this road if I could just stay on the road that'd be nice all right I'm trying my best okay but yeah I I really just love the looks of it especially the interior and exterior i'm gonna really like this car anyway uh this is just engine level one you know what? i'm just gonna drive it on a regular road because it's probably easier okay so we're on a regular road now so now we can kind of see what engine level one and how fast it is so it seems like 130 miles per hour it can easily reach so that's pretty good for engine level one now let's go ahead and upgrade it and see how fast this goes for engine level five now keep in mind this is only a three hundred thousand dollar vehicle so i'm not expecting some crazy speed like 270 miles per hour right i'm expecting maybe like 230 you know something around that range you know that would already be pretty good but yeah it looks like we're reaching around 200 i mean we could be going further i mean that's probably the best play to test is the trading hub so i'll probably go there but we were able to reach i guess about 200 miles per hour just by driving the road regularly which is not that bad so that leads me to the second feature for this update there is a vehicle health bar now so you can see right above the rocket fuel bar there is a green bar which is the vehicle health so i believe i can damage my car a little bit and if i go back in 
you can see my car has been damaged nearly halfway, but it does regenerate. And another feature new to this update is you have drowning in the game now. So it seems like, is that, is that, is that me? I think that's actually me. So you can see that's my bar. So I'm going to go ahead and see what happens if I do reach like zero, like what, what actually happens. All right. So it looks like I lose like a little bit of health. And if I go back in, it slowly regenerates. There are also someone like shooting at me, which I don't know why that probably might damage my vehicle, but they're on the same team as me. So I don't know, to be honest, they're probably not gonna be able to damage my car. But yeah, you can't hide in the water anymore, which is kind of disappointing because, you know, it was fun to do that. But yeah, that's no longer a thing you can do. However, there is one change that is very, very disappointing in this update. I'm disappointed and a lot of people are celebrating it. But to me, I'm not really celebrating it too much. Let me go ahead and show you guys. It is just over here. Asimo has some unannounced changes and they're updating the robbery cash to reflect the difficulty of each robbery. If we take a closer look, the bank got buffed. You can see for each floor, it got buffed. So so the bank upper management from 4,000 to 5,500, mint 4,500 to 6,000, pretty big buff. And presidential vault looks like it stayed the same. Casino stayed the same, but jewelry store got a buff, 5,500 now instead of 5,000. And the disappointing part is the mansion and the cargo ship got nerfed. They were given the most money for probably not that much work, which was why I liked it a lot. So the mansion from 16,000 all the way down to 13,000, and the cargo ship from 14,000 to 8,000 and yeah the mansion you pretty much got 20k if you got VIP and the cargo ship you got like 16k if you got VIP so it was really good but now it's not as good as it was before and we also got some buffs right here like you know the passenger train got a buff the cargo train got a buff also increases more per second but you know what I just feel like why why do you have to do this yes a lot of other robberies got increased but those were my two favorite robberies because it was fun to do and also gave like a lot of money I mean I'm not not really too sure why Simo really nerfed it. That was came out of nowhere, but some people are celebrating like it's a good thing. But you know, in my eyes, I'm not really enjoying because those are my favorite robberies to rob because you know they gave the most money. And especially the mansion. The mansion was really carrying everybody. So since after like the robbery rotations, the mansion was like the only thing that gave consistent amount of cash. The rest of the robberies you couldn't really rely on for a consistent grinding strategy. So a lot of rich players were using the mansion a lot, but now that got nerfed, so that's disappointing. But yeah, let me know down below what you guys think about these changes you know i'm curious what do you guys think about new robbery changes do you guys think it's a good thing or a bad thing for me i'm not too big of a fan of it anyway the next thing for this update is of course the apocalypse season and i've already got like 25 xp for you know staying alive for seven minutes so that's surprising but uh the stuff hasn't loaded on my screen yet i don't know why but the new car is right here season 20 and it is apocalypse all right we're gonna, it's gonna spawn in there it is it's called the strike Obviously, I can't drive it right now, but when you reach level 10, you will be able to get in this thing. And there is a minigun on this thing, so I guess there's a total of three seats. There's also a passenger seat, and of course, there is the driver's seat. I can't really look in the interior that well because, you know, it's supposed to be an armored car, like an apocalypse. So it's pretty hard to see, but why if I try to like zoom in? Yeah, there's not too much inside here. It's mostly supposed to be like an armored sports car, if you get what I'm saying. But yeah, if we look inside the GTR, you can see a much cleaner interior. I'm very big of a fan of what's inside. It's hard to see right now. If I try to go like this, you only can really see my big hands. But interior looks sick inside the GTR. And of course, the exterior is looking fine as well. Okay, and that leads me to my last thing for this video, guys. It is a new code, which is 10k cash. So let me go ahead and head over to the ATM to show you guys this new code. Okay, so the code is SPRING24. If you type this in, you will get 10,000 cash. And yeah, to so go ahead and do that, it's limited time only. So go ahead and do it while it lasts. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I covered everything from the new vehicles, the new mountains, and also the new season, and yeah, the new code. So that's pretty much it for this update. If you guys are not, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!